Okay, hello. This is a uh, welcome video for EDCI 508. Um, I sent out that message uh, a little while ago. Um, and I've been trying to put some things together, uh, change some readings, find some new readings, and uh, using um, some of the research, uh, graduating uh, uh, grad students uh, did over the fall, um, and uh, found they provided some, some some new research, and I wanted to update uh, the readings using that, um, and um, try to refocus uh, the course a little bit. I'm not sure how much I accomplished in doing that, but we'll go over, uh, I don't have an outline. I'm gonna share that now. Um, and it's not extensive, but Moodle, Moodle is ready to go. Um, I, it's all up, all the course, the, the um, the assignments are linked to Portfolium. Um, so uh, I think in, in the syllabus is sent out with the announcement I emailed uh, earlier, a little bit earlier this afternoon. Um, and so Portfolium's fully loaded. Um, there's, um, I want to say there are five glosses, yes, and um, there, um, and then uh, a couple of short discussion boards dealing with uh, the videos. That first assignment, um, which is in topic two, um, you know, viewing the viewing video, just broad videos on multiculturalism and poverty. Um, and then I ask a kind of simple question just to get your reactions, um, begin some conversation. Um, so I may have to adjust some things in the discussion board now I think about it, uh, but in the discussion boards, um, I do want you to respond to your classmates. There, we have nine in the class, um, and uh, most of you were um, in 503 either, uh, or 504 either in the summer or the fall. Um, so this is either your, your second or third um, semester, I think we have one new student in uh, who just graduated. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a nice group. Nine is a, is a nice group. So um, the readings are on four broad topics, uh, multiculturalism generally, multicultural education really, uh, poverty, race, in something called hybridity. Um, what's interesting about hybridity, um, it's, it's kind of beginning to shift from looking at, you know, multiracial, multi-ethnic um, hybridity to, to including now, um, what, what might be called cyborgism, uh, thinking of ourselves as hybrid humans and machines. Um, and uh, some of this might, might come out of disability studies. Uh, it's a way to think about that integration and how that changes, possibly changes who we are. So it's a discussion. Remember, uh, this course is considered a seminar, so we having trying to have conversation around some of this. 
um, as much as we can in, in this sort of asynchronous setting. Um, and, you know, as the reflective practice in the syllabus piece, in the syllabus discusses, uh, I ask you to kind of suspend your disbelief, uh, to think critically on some of this. Um, don't assume too much from the readings. Although I would say that I think the key aspect to some of the readings is to get us to think about how we as teachers uh, compensate uh, to overcome the learning difficulties that are possible for a students uh, in terms of um, their, their cultural uh, settings that they come out of and particularly poverty. Um, so, you know, we have some readings dealing, trying to deal with that. Um, I have come, and we'll talk obviously more about this, but I think most of what I gather from the research I've done on overcoming things like poverty uh, and in um, our own innate cultural prejudices um, that may or may not arise, um, that it's really, you know, this goes back to the reading in 504 on the moral life of schools, um, where uh, just good ethical teaching practice uh, is probably much of the solution. And also accepting our students for who they are, where they are at a given time. Um, the, um, I think the, the, the important thing um, to think about um, is to begin as you read, uh, coming out of 503 and 504, uh, and I know the one, the one new student, she'll, you know, she'll get some of this in 503, you'll catch up. Um, but to come out of the, the concepts, uh, the threefold tool of education, nature, uh, art or instruction and exercise or practice um, to, to, to try to get you to continue to think in these terms as we look at some of these articles um, and also to think about uh, Whitehead's comments uh, idea that where knowledge could have changed the issue for a student. So change the issue meaning could improve their lives. Ignorance has the guilt of vice. Okay, so we need to be careful um, that we continue to teach to the kinds of educational pra practices that students need um, to live a good life. Um, and this goes back to the, some of those same ethical questions in the moral life of schools. Um, the two projects, one is early, is, the, is an autobiography. Uh, I have a sample of mine, kind of a video autobiography. You may do the autobiography. Uh, you, you can either write it or do it by video. Um, if you uh, if you do it, if you do it, it would end up being a, a somewhat long in, uh, MP, but MP4 document. Um, you know, try to convert that to uh, YouTube if you can. Um, I, think, I think it may depend on the on the subject matter of your own life. Um, it'll make it easier to view. Uh, or, or some other way to, you know, so it's not a, it's not a, a big MP4 document um, that you submit. 
Uh, so the autobiographies first. I have some other types of samples uh, to look at. Um, there are no real guidelines on that. But I do want you to, you know, not only give me your kind of life story as much as you can uh, and where you come from, particularly placing yourself um, within culture. So um, not, I'm not as concerned about heritage as I am your, your familial culture. Uh, who do you, how do you see yourself? Um, so, but also your experience with diversity, you know, and, uh, I would say when I began teaching this course, uh, experiences with diversity, um, were, were somewhat less prevalent, um, in the recent years, um, much more so. So, uh, and I think that's a good thing. Um, the big project is your research project. We'll be talking about this much more. Uh, I ask you to do an annotated bibliography. And I want you to select some, to begin with, um, two or three areas of diversity uh, that you can email me. Um, be it race, class, or gender, uh, be it religion. Uh, poverty clearly is a class thing. It could be ability, students' ability, um, um, you know, different struggles of different diverse groups in the classroom. Um, so um, these are some of the, the broad topics. Any, and if you, if you think of some areas you would like to research dealing with diversity in schools, you're not sure, just email me. You know, we can talk about it if we need to. Um, so you'll begin to do research um, through the electronic resources in the library by and large. You can also um, you know, do, do uh, scholarly articles on Google uh, I want articles, preferably um, referee publications, more so than websites or um, or ERIC documents. But you can have some of those. Uh, there's sets of there's a set of guidelines. There's a rubric. Uh, you will use APA style uh, for the annotated bib, uh, and I'll get and we'll, you'll get into that some more. I have to. Um, create all new videos for this class since they're all done in Adobe Connect, which we no longer have access to. So I'll be doing wholly new videos. So if you go to click in a video and it's not working, that's why. And I just haven't gotten to it yet. So I hope to be able to get to um, the video on the multicultural readings um, by, uh, by next week. Um, so, um, there are, um, if I remember, now I'm trying to do this from memory, let me see. Um, so I think a couple of readings on multiculturalism, um, poverty, there are three readings only one will be glossed. And again, multiculturalism, only one is being glossed. Um, so all this is for background. Um, and you can, I mean, it's up to you. Um, but if you want to bring in uh, things from the other readings, you're more than welcome to do that, uh, although it's not a requirement. Um, I also have some additional videos on poverty um, to help you um, with some of this. Um, in, in for teaching, uh, for us as teachers, uh, I think poverty is, is the biggest issue, more so than other cultural issues. Um, 
several readings on race. You'll gloss two of these readings. Um, and uh, one is on whiteness, which is basically a history of the idea of being white, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, again, like any research, uh, suspend your disbelief or even your belief. Uh, think through some of this critically. Um, the race, the other two readings are on, basically they're on um, helping, helping black boys in classrooms. Um, and it's a NACI, these are published by NACI. So they're dealing with younger children, uh, I'm sorry, younger students. Um, but I think you have the ability to extrapolate. This applies all, all across you know, K-12 um, for sure. Um, and so you'll, you'll gloss those two together because they're very, they're by the same author, and you can, you'll tell through the title, they're very similar. Um, one's laying out um, ideas of issues and the other is laying out possible uh, solutions. Um, hybridity is the last area. So that's up to that point, there's three glosses. Hybridity, there's one gloss. Um, general definition of hybridity, uh, particularly from a global perspective. Um, and uh, then something on um, what I would call cyborgism or you know, human machine interface. So um, just like in 503, um, you'll view the discussion before you submit the gloss. Uh, also like 503, not to have confusion, the due date in portfolio or May 21st, that's to make sure nothing gets shut down before you're able to, to send out your last uh, assignments, uh, your project. So uh, I think everything's pretty well spaced. Please keep as close as you can to the schedule um, to get through these. Okay. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if, if I've raised more questions than I've answered, uh, don't hesitate to... Um, to email me and uh, I will quickly respond. So um, again, take, take a look at the syllabus. Uh, if you see anything that needs correcting, let me know. Um, good luck. I, I look forward to working with everybody over this uh, spring. Uh, we're already trying to put our course scheduled together for the summer and the fall. So it, it never ends. All right. Take care.